Authorities are still investigating the deadly police-involved shooting of 12-year-old Thomas Sedario. Today, we took a closer look at home security video we obtained from the scene. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrello is live in the news center with more on that aspect of the story. Matt? Siafa, you know, usually home security cameras capture something we can see, but in this video, it's what we hear that investigators may be paying close attention to. Take a close listen to this home security video that captures the moments after the police involved shooting of 12 year old Thomas Sedario. Police have not verified who's speaking in the video, but it may be an officer asking where's the gun because they say Sedario initially fired at an unmarked police vehicle before running. But the video contains background noise like other people talking. So to try to verify what's being said, we took the video to Daniel Wurzbacher, an audio engineer here at Many Young Studios. There's often interference, static, road noise, um, a number of things that could cause issues with, with understanding the audio. So you can take a sample of that road noise and subtract that from the rest of the track. When you do that, it looks like this, and you can see all of that background noise is gone. He also transcribed the portion of conversation word by word. Take a listen, this time to the video without background noise. And Philadelphia police and the district attorney's office say their investigations into the shooting continues. Last week, Commissioner Danielle Outlaw said one of the four officers involved have been suspended with intent to dismiss. The three others remain on restricted duty. The time between when Sedario may have dropped the gun and when the officer fired at him is now in question. We have that part coming up on Eyewitness News at 5. We're now reporting live in the news center. Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we'll be watching. Thank you as always, Matt.